Hello Taurus, welcome to another love reading. We're gonna be looking at your person's thoughts, feelings, intentions towards you and possible next actions in the near future. Uh, keep in mind these readings are general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you. So let's jump right in for Taurus. Spirit, angels, guides, what guidance, what messages do you have for Taurus regarding the person they're thinking about or connecting with? at this time spirit what are this person's energies thoughts feelings towards taurus at this time their energies thoughts feelings towards taurus to know spirit. person's thoughts feelings energies towards taurus at this time wow the ace of wands Page of Pentacles and the world. Okay, so new beginnings, um, new starts, fresh starts, fresh new beginnings. I mean, that's, that's all over this reading. Bottom of the deck, the sun. Wow, okay. Well, this looks great. I almost don't even want to clarify. <laughs> I feel like this is somebody that is very motivated by this connection or wants something new with you, wants something to just begin um, but also, it's not just about the passion. Page of Pentacles is telling me that they're thinking about the future as well. Okay, tell me about the Ace of Wands. Seven of Wands. Okay, tell me about the Ace of Wands. What do we need to know about the Ace of Wands? I feel like this is someone that's very motivated. Yeah, Ace of Cups. This is someone willing to fight for you, uh, willing to fight for this chance, this opportunity with you. And there's the Fool. They're willing to take risks. Yeah, they're willing to do whatever it takes, I feel. They're very brave. I feel like this is someone that does not, is this is not like a shy person. I mean, I feel like this is someone that knows exactly what they want. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Why is the Page of Pentacles here? Yeah, the Knight of Cups. I mean, look at this energy. I don't know who this is, judgment, but they are serious. <laughs> Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, judgment, interesting, because right at, um, right before the world is judgment. Yeah, and there's the chariot, Cancer energy. This is very focused energy, Taurus. You could be dealing with a Cancer. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Really doesn't matter the sign. Um, but judgment is t uh, number 20, and then number 21 is the world. So it's almost like this person... They're hoping this page of pentacles, <clears throat> whatever decision they make here with you, whatever uh, move they make here with you, that it leads to something new. It's it's not just like they're uh, wanting to just have fun and leave it there, you know? It's all about this new start. Tell me about the world. What do we need to know about the world? Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Tell me about the world, Spirit. What do we need to know about the world? And you had something. Yeah, Page of Cups. Look at this energy. You had something very similar uh, recently. In your previous um, reading, it was someone expressing themselves to you and risking things for love, like a potential new love interest. So if this is resonating for you, make sure you check out that reading because I feel like this is a continuation. This is for those of you who I feel have someone new coming in, someone that maybe you have not met yet or someone that is like around you right now, but you're just not aware that this is the person you're going to be with or the person that's going to make a move towards you. I, I, I don't know. I feel like this is very like new energy. Um, if this is someone from the past wanting to come back in, I don't know. I feel like whoever they are, it's... It's not just to apologize. They, they're coming back in with the purpose of wanting a new beginning. But I feel like for most of you, this is someone new. So if you're dating around or, you know, if you're meeting new people, mingling, uh, doing online dating or, you know, being set up by your friends, I feel like this is something very special coming in for you, Taurus. Tell me about the world. Can I get one more for the world, please? The devil, Capricorn energy. 
and then at the bottom of the deck the three of wands well i can tell you that when i see this energy i'm not concerned just because of the other energies on the board i have to look at the message as a whole and this is the only card i feel like this is just someone that's like super into you they're very motivated like again i, I guess someone in you know and, and capricorns tend to just be like the ones that go after what they want and nobody kind of gets in their way um and when i see the chariot and i see the devil they look so similar to me on the board that i just get this energy of someone that's like consumed by this desire to have this new beginning ace of wands and i feel like all that's stopping them is kind of waiting for the response waiting for the result right let's get some more uh, insight on their energy can i get some more insight on this person's energy towards taurus can i get some insight please on this person's energies towards taurus and the knight of cups and page of cups with the ace of cups here um they tend to be kind of like genuine genuine individuals that kind of wear their heart on their the hidden motives oh let me get one more yeah inner voice okay so what i'm getting here past life at the bottom of the deck I don't think this person has told you how they felt. Hmm, let's see. Tell me more. I don't want to jump to conclusions. I want it, the cards to tell me. What else do we need to know about this person's energies towards Taurus? I feel like you might be suspecting of them or you don't trust this person or you're just not aware that they're thinking this way. Because inner voice is like the high priestess and hidden motives is kind of like the seven of swords. But balancing act is like back and forth. So it's almost like someone's not sure. Okay, hang on. Tell me more. What is this person thinking, feeling when it comes to Taurus? What are their thoughts, feelings, energies towards Taurus? I'm afraid. What else? You matter to me and I'm having doubts. Yeah, it's like the back and forth and then bottom of the deck, I'm afraid to tell you how I feel. Yeah, that's the energy I'm picking up here. I'm not picking up the energy of like a liar, but let's look at the Hidden Truth Oracle. Can I get some more insight, please, for this person's energy? I almost feel like this person isn't sure how you'll respond maybe they're afraid because they haven't come forward with this information so this would probably be surprising because again i feel like this for a lot of you this is new energy so you haven't been in a connection with this person in the past however past life here i'm getting like past life connection or maybe this is someone from your past but you weren't really together like you didn't really have a relationship I get one more please for this person's energy what do we need to know about this person's energy towards taurus i am becoming a better person okay can i get one more can I get one more for this person's energy my life is not as together as it seems oh that's probably the hesitation i feel like this person yeah interesting it's almost like they met you and you're trying to, it's like, it's, it's like they want to be better for you to impress you or to be on your level. I think they're afraid because they're fearing rejection. I think that's what this is. So um, I'm going to look at their intentions in a second. So we'll get some confirmation or, you know, not confirmation in a second, but I feel like this person hasn't come forward because they're not on your level or they don't feel like they're on your level. Like maybe they feel like they don't deserve you. So let's see. Let's look at their intentions. Spirit, can we get some insight into this person's intentions? Next potential actions towards Taurus. 
What do we need to know about this person's intentions? Next potential actions towards Taurus. Let's see Taurus. Five of Swords, Page of Pentacles, and the world again. The Five of Swords, hmm. Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, again, I feel like every time I look at the deck, when I get like a questionable card, I'm being steered in another direction. So it's almost like I cannot just look at this Five of Swords like someone being deceptive because the cards aren't letting me. So let's clarify. Tell me about this Five of Swords. Eight of Wands. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here, Spirit? Three of Wands. Tell me about the Five of Swords. Ah, okay. Okay, Eight of Swords, Fear. Oh my God, I got four more. I'm gonna take them though. Ace of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, and the Devil. I think this is, the, the, your person has hidden their feelings because they're scared. That's really what I'm seeing here. I feel like they're lusting after you, especially the devil with the nine of pentacles. It's like, wow, Taurus has a lot going on for themselves. They're attractive, they're um, successful, they dress well, they, they take care of themselves. And I'm just kind of like, every time I think about them, I was like, I'm obsessed. But I feel, and it's almost like, I feel like with the seven of wands and the eight of swords here, it's like this person goes back and forth. Like one day they might feel very brave. I'm willing to face this challenge and face rejection. And another day they're like, nah, <laughs> I don't wanna get rejected because once it's over, it's really over, right? Like when someone approaches another person and reveals, hey, I've liked you all this time. If you're rejected, your connection isn't gonna start. Like the rejection means it's over. So it's almost like this person's thinking like, you know, they're thinking big, Ace of Pentacles. what this is i feel bad for this person i again i'm not picking up like manipulative energy that's the thing like i'm just i'm not and i'm not going to sit here and like just say something just because you know i have to look at the whole energy of the cards bottom of the deck nine of swords yeah this is someone afraid what's behind that king of wands aries leo sagittarius energy and behind that queen of wands yeah this just like they're just super attracted to you wanting to be bold wanting to be fearless but instead there's this nine of swords tell me about the page of pentacles tell me about the page of pentacles again the page of pentacles shows up which again not a player energy the page of pentacles is like i want to get to know you for you seven of swords oh my god the seven of swords keeps coming up tell me about the page of pentacles the Hermit, Virgo energy. Again, I'm getting this someone that's quiet, hidden. They're not sharing their feelings for you. Okay, there's the Tower and the Magician. Taurus, I feel like some of you might already have someone else. I feel like this person's waiting for an opportunity. Either they're waiting for you to like be single or they're waiting for you to like give them the green light. Because if it were up to them, this would already happen, I feel. The magician, the fool, you know? I would manifest this new beginning and it would cause a tower. But this tower, I feel, is like the unexpected revelation of feelings, right? Tell me about the tower. Tell me about the tower. I just don't understand why this person is so fearful of being honest, you know? I feel like there might be something else. Tell me about the tower. This could also be death, Scorpio energy. Yeah, something would have to change or end here with this offer they're making you or they're needing to see that something has ended so that they can come forward with an offer. Something like that. 
And, you know, for example, if this is your boss, then it's not so simple as just telling you, hey, I have feelings for you. Maybe they would have to leave their job, you know, maybe you would have to switch positions, something like that. And I feel like this tower, this death card is just reinforcing or confirming this idea I'm having or this energy I'm picking up, I guess I should say, of someone that's hiding their feelings because if they were to reveal them, it would cause this. It would be like a huge upset or something would need to be over for good or something like that. Tell me about the world. Tell me about the world. Page of Swords. Tell me about the world. A conversation that might lead to a new beginning. Page of Swords in the world. The Queen of Wands. I feel like this person just, I think they're going to take a risk. They just fight themselves on that. Six of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, holding back Ace of Cups. It's like they're holding back their true feelings. And then I have the five of wands. Maybe there would there would be pro ooh. I wonder if this person is not single. One of you, I feel, might not be single, or this would them revealing their feelings for you is ca would cause a problem. That's really what's going on here. It's like if they were to come forward and tell you how they really feel towards you, Taurus. And, you know, this, my life is not to get as together as it seems. I'm becoming a better person. Um, I'm afraid you matter to me. I'm having doubts. I'm afraid, you know, it's like this back and forth energy. It's because either they're not supposed to be coming after you. Or they're not supposed to be interested in you. Or being interested in you is going to reveal some sort of drama or conflict in their life or your life or their position at work or something like that. Let me know if that's resonating for you um, in the comments. What else do we need to know about this person's energy? Let me get a stellar swimming spirit. What else do we need to know about this person's energies towards Taurus? What else do we need to know about this person's energies? We get one more. What else do we need to know about this person's energies towards Taurus? Ah. Okay, Taurus, so I have here, we will be together again. Time hasn't changed my feelings for you. And I have kept my true feelings buried deep. So I feel like this is very past energy. We will be together again. Time hasn't changed my feelings for you. However, I still don't feel like this would have to be someone from the very distant past. I'm talking about like childhood sweetheart high school sweetheart something like that um or maybe you were friends at one point but one of you friend zoned the other maybe someone shot their shot and was rejected in the past but they haven't changed their feelings for you because i feel like for a lot of you there wasn't an official commitment And I don't know, I feel like since the past, you know, that distant past, either one of you got into a connection or they got into a connection. And that's why there's this big mess. That's why they haven't come forward. That's why they are afraid to tell you how they feel. And they've kept their feelings very deep. You know? Maybe this is someone you friend zoned or someone that knows that you're already in a connection and aren't going to just be like, oh yeah, I like you too. Let's blow up our lives <laughs> to be together. You know, it's, it's, it's a lot more has, is happening here. It's a very complex energy that obviously the tarot cannot go into details about. But that's what I have for you as to what your person's currently thinking or feeling about you, Taurus. If you enjoyed the reading, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you. Uh, let me know in the comments if this resonated or if you feel comfortable sharing your story. And I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.